Good evening and welcome to all the wonderful people here today, but most especially to my classmates of the class of 2020. While I never thought I'd be making this speech to my computer screen, I am thrilled the day of our graduation has finally come and I'm honored to be speaking here today. As a senior, you expect to have a lot of lasts. Your last prom, last rally, and especially last day of high school. For the class of 2020, however, these special moments came a bit sooner than expected. As our senior year was cut in half, it felt almost as if it hadn't even begun. It seems like just yesterday, it was the first day of high school. All of us dressed in our Honor Thy Senior shirts, much to Connolly's dismay. We took on the first semester like champs, excited to finally be the big dogs on campus, despite the grueling process of college apps. We experienced our last first rally, final homecoming, and got to sit at the best tables in the upper spirit court, safe from the seagulls. The almost daily fire alarms from sophomore year were a faint memory of the past, and the miniature babies taped around campus kept student spirits high. So when the news of all of this hit, saying our class was disappointed would be an understatement. But as I sit at home and think, and trust me, I've had a lot of time to think, I've realized there are two ways to go about life. You can either be timid and stressed about the things that are out of your control, or you can take life as it is and make the best of each moment. This is a perfect example to me of the pursuit of happiness. Now, you might think I'm referencing the Declaration of Independence. Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. K, but I was actually talking about the song by Kid Cudi, which I like to call the soundtrack of my senior year. The song is definitely great, but the message in the chorus is what really stuck with me. As we all know, high school is guaranteed to tax you with assignments or classes that you may not like or want to take. It may challenge us to step out of our comfort zone or make sacrifices we wouldn't normally make. For our class, it has compromised some of the moments we would have never forgotten. And not only have we made the best of these not so shining moments, we have also created our own outstanding memories. And for all these memories, I have a few people I would like to thank. A huge thank you to my parents for teaching me resilience and strength and for always believing in me no matter what. You have given me your unwavering love and support every single day and I owe everything to you. I love you. Thank you to my older siblings, Nico and Cotty, for giving me the best advice and having my back, as well as my little sister, Liana, for teaching me bravery and compassion. Of course, I also would like to thank my friends, Shek, John, Mac, Puka, Aidlad, Sanch, Jaybird, and Tala. I would have never made it through high school without you guys, and I'll never forget the memories we've made, even if I wanted to. Most of all, thank you to my teachers, staff, coaches, and faculty, whose drive, selflessness, and hard work got us to where we are today. Thank you all for being somebody's reason to walk across the stage, virtually, of course. A message to my class. I hope you sit here today, grateful for all the people in your life who helped you get to this point, but that you also acknowledge the hard work you had to put in as well. Because in the end, we were the ones staying up until 2 a.m. to finish revisions for Connolly. We were the ones staying hours after school to collect data for our bio IAs. We were the ones pulling all-nighters just to find out that Mr. K would extend our IA due date the next day. So I would like to say congrats to my classmates who will graduate today and start their new journey into the mysteries of life. I am beyond excited to see what boundaries we will push and what massive change we will create. Whatever the pursuit of happiness looks like to you, I hope that we all find it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Now, we are honored to introduce our valedictorian, Nadia Fernande Koshafa. Nadia is an ambitious IB diploma candidate who has participated in two cappuccino sports teams and served as the youth representative of, Cap of San Bruno Parks and Recreation Commission, along with volunteering at the library. In the fall, she will be studying biology on the pre-med track at UC Berkeley.